Hello and welcome to the introduction of the new Ferris IS6200 diesel powered zero turn mower. Ferris has been offering diesel powered zero turn mowers for a long time. Anyone familiar with the Ferris brand will know the IS5100Z with its powerful Caterpillar diesel engine. This mower has been a flagship mower for over 18 years, which is quite unique, especially when looking to the competitiveness of our market segment. A lot of users found a trusted workhorse in the IS5100Z that lasted well beyond the general economic lifetime and longer than many other machines in the market. With the arrival of stricter engine exhaust emission standards, we can no longer offer a conventional diesel engine in this performance class. Stage 5 standards have tightened the emission restrictions for non-road mobile machinery and set stricter limits on engine emissions and the emissions of particulate matter on engines in the category of 19 to 560 kilowatts of output power. With the development of the IS6200, we kept building our new flagship in mind. A mower that is even more powerful, more efficient and more productive than ever before. A new industry benchmark for the ultimate zero turn mower. Let's walk over to the machine to have a closer look at the engine. The engine in this IS6200 is a Caterpillar C1.7. This is a 1.7 liters three-cylinder diesel engine that is turbocharged and capable of delivering an astonishing 48 horsepower and 166.5 newton meters of torque. The fuel delivery system is a common rail principle with high pressure injection for an impressive performance and exceptional power density. And that's exactly what is needed in a flagship that is built for the toughest mowing jobs. At the front of the engine, we find a large engine cooler to keep engine temperatures within range. The engine cooler is specifically located in front of the engine, right behind the operator's seat, because this is the cleanest zone for taking cool air in. If the engine cooler would have been located behind the engine, it would draw air in that is mixed with grass particles that have been ejected by the deck. These particles could build up around the radiator screen, eventually blocking the air intake, causing a higher risk for overheating the engine. At the rear of the engine, we find an after-treatment system that is keeping the engine emissions below its permissible range. This diesel oxidation catalyst is a flow-through catalyst principle, which forces the exhaust fumes to flow through an internal honeycomb catalyst that is housed within a stainless steel container. The exhaust gases from the engine are passing the catalyst where a chemical reaction takes place to oxidize carbon monoxide, hydrocarbon and a soluble organic fraction of particulate matter. The engine is protected by a new designed rear bumper. The rear bumper wraps completely around the rear of the machine and is tapered at the bottom to increase ground clearance. This is especially convenient when driving up ramps, for example, with loading and unloading on a truck or trailer. The sides of the bumper are tapered in as well, which will help clearing obstacles when mowing close to a fence or around a tree, for example. The rear part of the bumper is made of metal tubes, where you're strong enough to withstand an incidental impact with an object. At the bottom of the bumper, we find tie-down points, which are also present at the front end of the machine. These spots provide a convenient location for your ratchet straps to secure the machine safely on a truck or trailer. With a powerful engine alone, we would not be able to achieve a higher productivity. It is our patented suspension system that enables us to maintain higher mowing speeds at rougher terrain. This way, the full available power from the engine can be used to cover more area in less time. This results in a lower cost of ownership and more money earned. At the rear of the machine, we find its rear wheel suspension. Each wheel is suspended independently and features two cast iron control arms. This ensures the rear wheels move in an ideal vertical position throughout the full range of suspension travel. The rear suspension arms are supported by two large 
adjustable shock absorbers which dampen the shock load that is caused by the terrain, allowing you to mow at higher ground speeds. At the front of the machine we find two independent swing arms, one right and one left, that can move up and down independently and are both supported by a large shock absorber. All shock absorbers feature adjustable springs and can be set to your preference. The mower deck is supported by four individual deck lift rods that work in conjunction with the suspension system to provide a consistent height of cut. The Ferris Reactive Deck Mounting System lets the mower deck float from the suspension and raises and lowers the deck in harmony with the motion of the wheels. Let's walk back to the engine compartment. The hood can be opened with an automotive style latch and is supported by gas springs. It offers convenient space to service the engine. That's one thing less to worry about. At the right hand side of the engine compartment we find the engine oil filter and dipstick and the Donaldson Dual Element Cyclonic Air Cleaner. These can all be easily reached for service without the need of removing screens or guards. Below the diesel oxidation catalyst we find the drive systems. The drive system closest to the engine powers that transmission drive for the rear wheels. This drive runs from the engine pulley to the two individual hydraulic pumps with a banded V-belt. The hydraulic system consists of two individual Hydrogear PW pumps, which subsequently drive the two Parker TG wheel motors. On the back of the right hand pump, we find the auxiliary pump that powers the deck lift system. And here on the left side, we find a hydraulic oil cooler that cools the oil that is returned to the hydraulic oil tank. The rear drive system powers the mower deck. This 610 Newton meter Warner clutch that is mounted directly to the engine stub shaft transfers the available power from the engine with a banded V-belt to a 90 degree Curtis gearbox that is located just below the engine. Pay a little closer attention to both drive systems. All drive pulleys have more than 180 degree of belt wrap to ensure sufficient pulley grip to reliably transfer the engine power without slipping belts. From the 90 degree gearbox we reach the mower deck. There are two belts that drive the mower deck. The primary belt coming from the 90 degree gearbox drives the middle blade and the left hand blade. A secondary belt that runs from the middle spindle drives the right hand blade. This two belt deck drive system uses fewer backside idler pulleys than a conventional deck drive system. This results in less belt stress and cooler running belts which translates into longer belt life and less downtime. Now we have arrived at the deck anyway, let's have a closer look. The IS6200 is equipped with a 183cm mower deck with triple mowing technology. This triple deck hosts multiple mowing configurations in a single deck design. Traditional mowing methods, regional preferences, climate differences, as well as changing seasons and grass varieties, they all require different cutting and discharging methods. This triple deck system eliminates stress of choice for the owner and comes with three discharge options. By arranging the baffle layout underneath the deck, you will have side discharge, rear discharge and mulching available to you. The deck comes standard from the factory with mulching blades fitted, combined with a shallow rear baffle. This is the most versatile setup for most mowing conditions because it can cope with various grass heights without adjustments. It mulches the grass until the cutting chambers are full and then discharges the excess grass out of the rear of the mower deck. There is another rear baffle that comes with the machine, which is a tall rear baffle. This baffle is used for full featured mulching when desired, and also when the deck is set up for side discharge. No matter the circumstances, the best mower configuration is always at your disposal and all parts are included when you purchase this mower. The Ferris IS6200 is equipped with a premium high back seat, which provides adequate lumbar support and has an adjustable headrest. The seat has an adjustable fore and aft positioning and an integrated retractable seat belt. Above the seat, we find a roll over protection structure that is foldable and comes with a locking design that eliminates the rattle by an eccentric pin design that puts a little tension on a rubber insert that pushes against the hinge bolt of the ROPS. The seat can be tilted forward and underneath we find the battery, the fuse box, fuel filters, oil filter 
and a hydraulic oil reservoir. In front of the seat we have a removable footplate which is very convenient because it provides access to the top of the mower deck for daily cleaning and maintenance. Also, the middle blade spindle can be accessed easier through this area for lubrication. The footrest is angled and equipped with a rubber pad to provide a secure grip when maneuvering with this zero turn mower. Especially at rapid direction changes and during deceleration or bringing the machine to a full stop. At the right hand side of the footplate we find a foot pedal that is used for raising the mower deck. This happens hydraulically with minimal effort for the operator. A deck release lever is positioned just in front of the right hand fuel tank. With this lever the deck can be released to be lowered and locks automatically in place when the deck is raised until its transport position. The deck release lever can also be positioned open with this lockout latch, which then allows lifting and lowering the deck over obstacles without locking the deck into transport position. Also in this area we find the parking brake lever and the height of cut adjustment. Simply put the restriction pin in the matching hole for the desired cutting height and lower the deck down. The deck will then stop at the preferred height. So, how to read the height of cut decal correctly? Horizontally, we find six rows that display full inch measurements from one to six inches. Vertically, we find four rows that each represent a quarter inch. So choosing two, three quarter inches, we first look for the horizontal two inch row and then look vertically to find the three quarter inch row. Where these rows cross, that's where we find two and three quarter inches. Each cutting height on a decal is also displayed in centimeters. On my right, we find the operator control panel. This clean organized control panel holds the ignition switch, throttle lever, PTO switch and a color display. This color display hosts the brain of the machine. The display itself measures 4.3 inches diagonally and the complete controller unit and display is IP67 sealed, front and back, and meant for outdoor use. The visibility outdoors is superb, even in direct sunlight. The display can be set up to a number of European languages and shows engine functions, machine functions, engine and machine warnings, and maintenance reminders. It will also display the current engine RPM level and the amount of torque that is taken from the engine. On my left, we find a small storage compartment with a lid, a 12 volt power outlet and a cup holder. Both the control panel and the storage compartment are integrated inside the fuel tanks. These two fuel tanks host a combined volume of 51 liters of fuel. The fuel tanks are linked to each other and require no fuel tank selection. Each fuel tank has a clear fuel gauge that is positioned in front of the operator for easy visibility. These rotational molded tanks are made of 5mm walled high density polyethylene and can withstand some rough handling. The Caterpillar engine in this Ferris IS6200 will accept regular diesel fuels as well as biodiesel up until a 20% brand by volume also known as B20 diesel. Renewable fuels derived from biomass and food waste for example are also supported to be used in this engine. Renewable fuels are known as GTL. BTL and HVO fuels. The use of renewable fuels reduces the carbon footprint compared to fossil fuels on a life cycle analysis basis. Always verify if an alternative fuel meets the fuel requirements of the engine manufacturer prior to use. I think we covered the most important features of this machine. If you would like to find out more, I encourage you to check out our website where you can also find the other models Ferris is offering. Goodbye, take care, and I see you in the next Ferris video.